Alright everyone, so hello, and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So, uh, in this episode, I probably shouldn't need to tell you what I'm going to be doing, because you can probably guess. But first off, let me just uh, explain some of my crud. Uh, so I've got Celeste with the Flame Tongue and the Mystery Veil, and she's in the front row. This is mainly important for the Dijini battle, the triple Dijini battle, because uh, that one can get nasty if uh, you don't have a good offense there. Basically, it gets exponentially harder thanks to Life Shaver, if you, the less offense you have. So I, I am fairly decked out for that fight in some ways, but I'm still prepared for the rest of it too. The Realm is actually very important here because she's fast and her sketch allows me to identify which battle I'm fighting fairly quickly. And it's pretty much the only way to identify which battle I'm fighting without actually letting the enemies just hit me a bunch. So it's important that she sketches an enemy. Uh, it actually... I spent a while deciding actually which enemy I'd sketch. There's essentially three choices. Like, I could do the one on the top, but that's not entirely useful. The, the best effect of the sketching the top enemy is the fact that dactyls are often at the top. And if I sketch a dactyl, then I get cyclonic, which can help out a lot. But overall, it's not the best choice, especially since the other option is is often a Dijini. So those guys, it's nice to identify that there are Dijinis in the battle. But the there's a chance that Realm will life shaver and get herself hurt on the Dijini itself, and its second attack is only useful under select circumstances, so not the best thing to sketch. The other option is sketching uh, the enemy in the front, which is essentially just pressing sketch and then uh, sketching the enemy it defaults to. And the main use of that is that I can... Oh yeah, and if I sketch the enemy on the top I can easily identify a double ninja battle, that's definitely a good one. Sketching the enemy in the front, though, has generally the widest range, I think, of battles that I can identify. And sketching the brain pans uh, generally has the best effect, because Stop and the A Thousand Needles are generally pretty powerful. But I still decided to go with the one in the back, which is the probably the best in my opinion, because it allows me to identify any encounter, that there's a behemoth in the encounter right away, in any circumstance where the behemoth can come up. Unless, probably back attack, but I'm not gonna go there. The... So that's a good thing, because uh, if you'll notice, I have sets that are cooked with Shoat. So that's just there to one-shot behemoths, essentially. And the double ninja battle, if I can identify that one quickly. Shadow's pretty much just, like, basic DPS, but, uh, mostly because, uh, if you look, I completely forgot to buy some of the most useful things he can get. I could probably throw Fire and Scroll in that list as well, it'll probably help a lot in the Dijini encounter. But, yeah, this for kind of forces my hand to put him in the front, which isn't necessarily the best, but I honestly think it's safer than putting him in the back and when he's such a reliable damage, generally. In my test runs, he got killed by critical hits sometimes, but theoretically the chances of that should be low. Setzer's uh, set up to be faster and reliable because he can't be discorded. The important thing is that he can use Lego Morph, but Poison will also come in handy a few times. And Cele finally Celeste, decked out with that Flame Tongue for the Jijini battle, which she won't be using all that often, not actually, because what she will be using is Sleep. And despite the fact that Berserk is kind of the traditional ninja killer, I'm using Sleep a lot of the time because it hits a lot more enemies on the continent, and also costs less MP, for whatever that's worth, half, half as much, and she'll be casting the spell a lot. I'd still say the front row's worth it for her, because she's not in the greatest danger of dying, so... And if she does, it's probably because the enemy's focused a lot on her, or she got hit with a kunai in the face or something. 
Berserk doesn't hit quite as many things as Sleep, so that's part of the reason why I don't didn't really use it as much. I found in my testing that Sleep does its job. Like, even though enemies do tend to wake up and keep her busy, it does do its job where it's supposed to, so... I haven't seen bad results from enemies waking up and hitting me in the face with something very often. Which is the main good thing about Berserk is that they'd stay on Berserk, unlike Sleep. But I also had a surprisingly frequent amount of times where Realm sketched a Discord and hit a ninja with it. But that realistically should be happening very, very little. Actually, it really shouldn't be happening at all here because I'm not sketching the top enemy. So I'd say that's all about it for my spiel here. I mean, I guess I could say that I equip Shadow with Phantom, but that's not exactly meaningful information. I'm not sure why I'm saving the game either, I didn't do anything. Man, this uh, unorthodox battle formations are really messing with me thanks to the... side attacks and pincer attacks and whatnot. Alright. It's easy to remember the ground around there. It's a pretty distinct area. So I just remember that part spatially rather than... Alright, you're probably Shadow. You are probably Realm. I hear a ninja. What else is here, though? Alright, so I heard two attacks. There's a good chance that this is a double ninja fight. But there's still a good chance that it isn't. Okay. It's, a uh, two, two dactyls and a ninja. So I want to put the ninja to sleep. It should be in the front. Alright, back to shadow. Yep, Cyclonic finished that one. Well, I don't mean finished. Shadow finished the one that was cyclonic So let's uh, sketch you for another Cyclonic, possibly. Well, uh, Cyclonic at me wasn't on the cards, but... Celeste can hopefully keep this guy at bay. There, There's another Cyclonic. I can pretty much expect the ninja to be up and running at this point. Shadow, you attack the guy on the top. And I messed up because... That was actually Celeste. So what did I tell Shadow to do then? Well, if he attacked the ninja, it's not a big deal at this particular moment. The only downside is that I miss a chance to kill the Dactyl. Hopefully Shadow can finish the Dactyl here, that would be nice. There we go. Just an inch left. Who are you? You are Celeste. Mash the A button. Sketch is uh, pretty decent, and he'll be put to sleep. Shadow should attack next, hopefully. And, uh, well, Sketch isn't decent if she goes for Gale Cut. Shadow attacks next, and even if he vanishes himself, he'll be put to sleep anyway. So it's three castings of sleep this battle. <laughs> you 
You are probably Shadow, just defend. Realm, however, you can sketch. Please just finish the fight already. There we go. Alright. Item. Probably didn't take too much damage. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that was just the damage I took from leveling. Now, that was double dactyls, so there's no way I got hit with any status effects. So that's the end of that. Now where was I? Dang, I've gone through this part a couple times by now, so I'm having trouble remembering. <laughs> I've done it so many times in the last couple minutes. I think I made it to the top left of that thing. Let's just do this. Going down and left now. Hopefully no mistakes were made. I haven't hit any battles yet. So that's not horrible. There we go. Gotta tiptoe my way through this. Don't want to get lost here. I went right last, so I'm going up next. You are probably Realm. Why do I go up still? Go to the back enemy. Okay, so I sketched and got uh, Medio, I think that is. So, you are Setzer. Well, he finished whatever that was off. It was likely, I'm betting, a Dijini. Oh, whoops. Cast sleep on that behemoth. Uh, what? You are Shadow. Um... You hit the guy at the top. And now, you can just defend, probably. There we go. Behemoth is down. Finish him off? No. Media must have missed that guy. Cyclonic, I figured it was that guy. So this is Celeste. Should be. I'm almost certain of it. Yep. The good thing about guess and check is that I can at least uh, do something that wouldn't be normally advantageous, but can be advantageous under certain circumstances. If I'm wrong, I have sort of a miss penalty, but what the... Oh no. Those guys can do that as a finishing attack? I... I knew they'd probably have it because of Sketch, but I didn't realize. And he hit me with Cyclonic, so I don't know who's alive. I, w I certainly wasn't healed with a... Unless I sketched him and did it, and... I don't know. Phoenix down? Well, no one died, so... Can't complain about that. I probably took some substantial amount of damage there. Alright, so I'm on item. Stop messing around the menus like a dolt. Oops. I wanted to dried meat, but... Skills slash magic cure. Alright, so she's used uh, a couple of those and a few sleep spells. I don't think it's time for a tincture just yet. Alright.
Alright, so I should have reached this little hole in the wall here. Yeah, get an Injato, which is not very useful at the moment because it, it prevents Shadow from attacking the Dijinis effectively, so let's not use it. Alright, up one all the way to the right. Now I should be able to hear another noise. Thankfully the floating continent has a lot of indicators as to where I am. Writing down a bunch. Going down next. Probably doesn't matter. Okay. So... Player one, you're probably Shadow. Celeste is on attack right now, I think. Attack was in the front. Okay, that's two attacks, and one was a ninja, so... This might be double ninjas. You are still on sketch. I don't want to do anything with you yet. Okay, that's as much indicator as I need. Sit there. Have fun. Vacation time. Oh man, that's not good. That's our most powerful attack. Sleep. Hit that guy. Okay, as I suspected, you're still on magic. Shout. Okay, this is Realm. I'm gonna brush Setzer. I want to reduce the chances of him dying. Well, that went off on the right spot, so... Hopefully Realm can get another turn. Shadow's dead. Realm, can your turn come up? Ah, rats. I didn't get the chance- I just barely didn't get the chance to put her on the right. Well, darn. On. Okay. I was on skills. So I likely messed with Celeste's skill menu, but that shouldn't be too hard to fix when I get to the point. Um. What am I doing? Item, scroll to the top. One down, Phoenix down. I can't have been Phoenix downs. Okay, don't panic, I switched the position of dried meat and Phoenix downs again. There, that makes more sense. Shadow is the only one getting healed as opposed to the only one not getting healed. Exit the menu. Item. Skill. Select Celeste. Magic. Alright, Celeste is definitely in need of a tincture now at this point. After I cast Float. Gotta have that float. Very important. One, two, three. And that's it for that. Down, and we're about to fight the Gigantos, hopefully. I don't want another battle in here. I swear the encounter rate's higher here than in vanilla. But that's okay, because more encounters here means more levels, whereas more encounters in vanilla meant more chance of restarting from ninjas. Woohoo. Let's uh, recenter my thing. back, put you in the back, ready to fight a Gigantos. I have no need for you. You are probably Realm. 
So let's check. You are indeed Realm, and you are still on attack, so I'll put you down to sketch. You are Setzer, so you should be on poison, I think. Hmm, what? Oh wait, I forgot to tincture him after that last shout. That could be bad if I actually wanted to use shout. That's re-rise, I do not need re-rise. Hmm, what? Scroll up to the top. Now it's going. Oh yeah, right. What's unless he doesn't even no. Rerise definitely costs more than poison. Let's count. Wait, it's rerise he doesn't have the MP for. Man, sheesh. As expected, there we go. Have to use a lot of deductive reason here. No, don't do that. I don't want to provoke a landslide. It's very much not what I want to do. I just want to sit here, turtle the guy out, and... He can't do a whole lot to me when I'm in the back row and defending, that's for sure. There we go. Everybody's on defense, so now I can just sit here. Good luck breaking through this wall of, uh, walliness. Because Setzer's a tank, two people have region that is easily outdoing his offense, and Shadow it has lots of evade. So with the poison doing double damage, I won't get the bonus to Shadow, like, the EXP distributed only to him, but, ironically enough, that doesn't make a difference because Shadow's my highest level party member. As opposed to what I get the feeling most people end up with. He is definitely my highest level, so... I'm actually hearing a lot of things connecting. Relatively more than usual. Hopefully they're not connecting on Shadow, because his defense is his evade. This takes a while. It's kind of annoying that this is at the start, actually, because it's not hard, it's just long. I'd really prefer this is, like, near the end, but can't do much about it, I guess. I'm certainly not doing a gi run for the Gigantos and then uh, run back to the save point like I do in Return of the Dark Sorcerer, because the Gigantos replacement is a lot harder there. I wouldn't be surprised if I could at some point finish him off with a regular attack, but as discussed earlier, this would end up with Shadow getting an unbalanced amount of VXP that he doesn't really need. And it could also provoke Landslide, that's never good. Not 100% sure what does provoke Landslide. I know Sketching Landslide provokes Landslide, and I know that Magic provokes Landslide, so you know, slots may not work too badly. Let's, uh... Let's go on a Setzer hunt. This is not Setzer. This is, in fact, Setzer. And what the... Did I tell the... What did I tell him to do? Oh, I think I just told Realm to attack. He died. Normally I'd say whatever, good enough for me, but now I don't know where my cursors are. I know Realm's on attack, but I'm not sure where Setzer is. Well, I would follow that he's still on magic, I suppose. Alright, so... Important things to do. Both sets and Shadow really did take some whaling there, but... They're both alive, none the worse for the wear, so... 
put Celeste in the front, put Shadow in the front, move the cursor back to Celeste, even though I'm pretty sure that does nothing that I really need. What else was I going to do? Oh yeah, right. Skills, equip. Back down Shadow. Equip. Down two. That one down one. Back out of the menu. And let's put this on item because I just know that's the sort of thing that will confuse me later. All the way to the left. One, two, three, four. Ugh. This is already getting to be pretty long. I'm not even through a quarter of it yet. Two enemies attacked, but I can't tell who they, either of them are. You are probably Shadow. You are, in fact, Shadow. Tech, what's in front of you? I got absolutely no indicator as to what battle this is. You are probably Realm. Sketch the thing at the back. You are probably Celeste. You must be Celeste. Oh, it's a triple Ginny battle. Okay. No time for casting here. We're going for brute force. If I can figure out what's going on. Okay, this is Runic. You are Setzer. So you should be on magic. Alright, so now hopefully I can get through this. Realm? Realm, that's the name. Fire 2, your face off. Thankfully, uh, most of my team has some fire move. Now, at this point, I'm going to hold A and hope for the best. One enemy is down. Setzer is not down. Dang it. I'm getting no procs either yet. Sensor will keep them alive through, through the regular attacks, but Life Shaver could definitely one hit KO someone. Wow, I'm surprised nothing died from that. There we go. One more left. Wow, mist is all over the place. Have they been glaring me? Probably. There's uh, an airship coming to blow stuff up. I swear this is taking longer than it should. I swear those guys should have been dying faster than they were. Which makes me wonder if Celeste and Shadow are somehow in the back row, but... Oops. First things first, check if somebody needs a phoenix down. Now check if somebody needs a dried meat. I wasn't expecting people to need a ton of dried meat, but... Since there actually did need some, and at any rate... Alright, back in the menu. There's something I wanted to do. Oh yeah, right. Not that. One, two, three. Tincture on Setzer. Who needs his show back. Back to the top of the item menu, and let's go. There we go. The first quarter has been completed. Technically the hardest to survive in, and because uh, everyone's gained a level, maybe even two for some people by now, I think it's probably only one though. Back up one. I'd say possibly Realm would gain two, but she was dead, I think? No. No one's died yet. That was a different run. Now I make it to this switch. 
Surprisingly no encounters in there. All the way down. All the way right. I'm still going all the way right. I've hit the switch, I'm going right. You are probably Realm. You are probably on sketch. No, you are probably not on sketch. Setzer would be on slots though, so that's how I can tell it apart. You are definitely Realm. Sketch his face. You are probably Shadow, and this is probably a preemptive strike, and I shouldn't jump the gun with what I'm- Oh, it's a Meteo! Alright then. So you hit what's in front of you. You are Setzer. Cast Shout. Good thing I healed that MP. You are Celeste. You are on your flame tongue because it was just Ginny's. All the way down the bottom. I was already on sleep. You put what is hopefully the behemoth to sleep. Alright, so you are Shadow. Attack this again, because it's probably a digit. What? No, did I just re-rise something? That's not what should be happening. just die? Because that would be much appreciated. Phoenix Town. No one needed that. Someone sure needed a lot of dried meat. Oh yeah, and I should really, really remedy some people. Everyone kind of needed that remedy. They must have been using a lot of those uh, glare attacks in that battle. The, the Jinnies, I forgot to heal after them. Stupid, stupid. Shouldn't be doing things like that. Okay, so... Since that's what you showed again, I also need to heal him with another tincture. That showed is expensive. But... To clear out behemoths is well worth it, because their Meteo is absolutely devastating. One, two, three. Now I hit the staircase, go down, go all the way right. As I go along, it gets less likely that I'll lose the run thanks to extra levels, but as I go along, it also gets worse as if I do lose the run. So... One, two, three. I can't start feeling comfortable or anything. All the way to the right. I hit a little gap here because the creators were trolls, they were specifically made this here to troll me, so... I take one step up to go around it and hit another little gap because the creators decided not to stop being trolls. I got lost. I really just don't see any chance of recovering from this. What did I mess up? Down right. Down, three to the right. Oh no, yes, that's it. I forgot to go down and right before I, I went three down. So, let's think this through. I went down three, I'm pretty sure that just steered me into a wall. I ran right into that thing, I ran all the way to the right, back one, all the way up. So I'm probably, yeah, that's probably where I am. Down one, right one, one, two, three. All the way to the right. That doesn't tell me much. Because it happened so early in the run. Otherwise, it might be a dead giveaway of where I am. So this is probably Shadow. 
I got hit with, uh, could be claws, it could be glare, it could be hush, that's not a very good indicator of anything. Oh, a blocked hit, that's not a very indicator of anything. There's three enemies, so it's not ninjas or double behemoths, which are the worst things to not identify quickly, but I don't have an identify those with realm sketch anyway. Sketch whatever's back there. Don't jump the guns with Celeste. Triple Ginnies must be... Okay. Not necessarily a good thing. These guys can sure do a lot of damage with their... Trixiness. Okay. Is this Setsu then? Yes, this is Setzer. Okay. Setzer it up, Setzer. That prob- Uh, that- One of- Two to three chance that did nothing, I guess. You are Shadow, so attack. You are Realm, so don't attack. You're still on fire too. I got smacked. That doesn't matter. I don't really care. Minor hit is not the worst thing that could happen. It's not the end of the world. Attack. Celeste is still alive. Sets her, I'm pretty sure, still has to be alive. Someone's getting discorded. Sets her can actually rip these guys apart if he spends the turn not healing. I'm not sure what I'm waiting Oh, wait, I think I... Have I been casting Sleep with Celeste? I would, no, I haven't been. Burn, burn and die. I miss, that may or may not be a good thing actually. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's the end of the fight. Those guys have not actually been being too nasty, actually. Okay, Setsu needed healing, but everyone else was pretty okay. Unless if somebody died, I should really check that. No, no one died, what a surprise. I do need remedies, but uh, I'm not worried about those. They're one thing that I actually do have a lot of. What else? What else? What, uh, what was I gonna... Oh yeah, right. All the way to the right. Now here's the spot that I have to go up. All the way to the right. Please, please, please work. Yes, yes, I figured it out. Logic for the win. Thank goodness that area is pretty narrow and not hard to remember. Or that would have definitely been a game over. Flick the switch. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot this part. Let's just run back in the thing. Run back in the thing again. Too busy being distracted. Run all the way down. Another battle. I'm getting extra battles because of all these mistakes. I should really stop that. Oh no. Okay, the tech definitely went to the right side of the screen. There is at least one brain pan, which is alright by me. I think I can identify which battle this is for sure by sketching the enemy in the back. Attack you. And sketch... Oh yeah, right. 
you should be on slots. I should have probably... Okay, this is uh, Double Brain Pan plus that guy. So you're on Flame Brand, so I shall... Uh... Yeah, I probably messed with your spot in the magic menu. That shouldn't do anything. Could she be out of MP? I'm gonna hope this is sleep. Ah, douche. Why did why was it re rise? Okay, sketch what's in the front. Because I can do a lot more damage that way. Okay, that's Setzer instead of Realm. Realm must be dead, probably. Did I tell Celeste to attack? Okay, you're in the item menu, whoever you are. You are definitely Shadow. Attack. DPS. Rom and Celeste seem to be the two who were affected by the stop and Thousand Eels, respectively. Okay, Realm is the one who is still okay, so... Celeste is the one who died to a thousand needles. I think Realm must have been hushed. Which is not good. Or, then again, she could have missed again. Funny, I don't believe uh, she missed ever on my test runs. How much punishment can these guys take? I swear Shadow and Celeste must be in the back row. Oh yeah, right. They're also getting healed, so... These guys better die before they start letting loose with Thousand Needles. Well, something got stopped at any rate. One of them's dead. Preferably not the one that stopped. You're not stopped. The other one attacked too. I bet I killed the stopped one. Yep, Shadow just went AWOL. Okay. You're the only one left. I shouldn't feel too worried about you. You can quake me, but that doesn't help. My sketches from you, sir, aren't that great, but... I'm probably gonna be waiting for a while here. Hopefully Setsu pulls out something better than Chocobob to hit this guy.
Yeah, I'm really thinking that realm got muted. Dead. There we go. Dead as a doornail. That took ages. That's saying something around here. Double check that. Not sure why I'm double checking that, but I am. Alright, so let's see. Is Celeste out of MP? Oops, I was dumb. Skills, Celeste, Magic. not out of MP. Oh, maybe Celeste was silenced too. That would explain a lot. That would explain all my mishaps. Where are those re-rise sounds coming from anyway? I swear. I'm gonna kill whoever's making them. Meanwhile, in the realm of revel rel relevance, I definitely think Celeste does need a tincture at any rate. Alright, so going down, right, going down, one, two, three, there we go, into the portal thing, into the nether portal, because this is totally Minecraft, they have floating continents in Minecraft, the games are practically the exact same thing. I don't even play Minecraft, so I'm not sure why I bother making those references, but what the hey? Right, up, right, up, right, up. You know, uh, you know what I'd really like is just no battles the entire rest of the floating continent, thank you. Alright, so, person at the bottom, this might be a preemptive strike, because I wasn't able to pause right away. <sighs> You are a realm. You are a shadow, probably. Hmm, what? I swear those noises were on the right side of the screen. I'll listen for shadow's attack. It should be a better indicator. I'll wait for Shadow and then have Setzer move. Yeah, I might just be imagining things. Either way, I probably want to cast Shout. And as for Sless. I heard a ninja, which means there's definitely no behemoths in the fight. At least Shout will get some use at any rate. Okay, must be a ninja double dactyl battle, and I must have sketched Firestorm. Oops, no, don't you dare. Sleep the first enemy, which is probably the ninja. The thing is, the dactyl cyclonic can be bad, but it's much, much worse. It's up to 11 if the ninjas can also chip in with a flame scroll or something afterwards and just wipe the party. That's bad, bad, bad. So you sketch the thing in the front, you attack. Oh, that was... I'm an idiot. Attack the ninja, I just put to... Oh, well, that didn't work as expected. Nothing's going right anymore. That's weird. If it's double dactyl ninja... I really hope Setzer pulls off his thriller already. Oh, well that died. Did Realm finally hit a ninja with a cyclonic? Or am I targeting the wrong enemy? Let's see, does anything die from this? The ninja was in fact still alive, which means... 
What? Uh oh. What did I do? I am really starting to lose it now. Sleep, that's always a decent move. I suppose Shout can miss. I didn't think it could, but. Oops. Use your thing. Use that. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't understand any of what happened there. Ah, Shadow died, that's not good. Let's use dried meats, because I feel like I've been using more tinctures than dried meats so far. Meanwhile, I really have to go to the wash for one second. again. Alright then. One, two. No one needed a remedy. However, I should probably throw one of those at each of those guys. Alright then, so believe it or not, uh, running out the way I came is not only just easier to memorize, but actually requires less steps. down. One, two, three. It's like one of those Legend of Zelda shortcuts back through the dungeon, except it just fails. Because <laughs> you don't actually save any time. Three quarters of the way there. Please don't die now. Please don't die now. No pincer attacks. Those are the worst. All the way down. Left. Battle. Should have expected it. Dragon. You're a dragon. So I need to move both of these guys into the back row. You can defend. Assuming you aren't in the front by accident. Again, would not be surprised. Realm should definitely come up next before Setzer. 
nothing. Just in case, as I've admired, it takes no, as I've uh, reasoned out, it takes no effort to do that, so might as well. I believe Shadow or Celeste was the one who was hit by cold dust. So, guess what? If you enjoyed my Giganto strategy, I think you'll like this one too. I have a feeling that not very many people enjoyed my Giganto strategy, but that's besides the point. These guys also... These guys share a bunch in common with the Giganto, so they're not too threatening to my team overall with their uh, regular attacks, but have their nasty counterattacks, so see if her turtle mode works pretty well against them as opposed to virtually anything on this continent. That's it. Says they're dead somehow? He can't have been glared at any rate. Yeah, Setzer must be gone. I can't really explain it, but... All I can do is wait. Someone just got glared. Since Sessor's dead, there's a 2 to 3 chance that that had a chance to work. It hit Realm. I really want this dragon to die soon. I'm getting the weirdest feeling that I've messed up my rose this entire time, and if that's the case, then all my characters might be in the front. Which could be really bad, actually, now that I think about it. 50, 50, actually no, 2 to 3 chance that didn't work. But there's no easy way to check, so well, I guess I could just have him defend, but you know, let's not mess around. If I do have uh, two characters glared though, that might actually help my survival for this battle in particular. You're dead. Hell yeah. Items, up to the top of the items. Sensor has been Phoenix downed. Did I check everyone else? Yeah, that was almost really dumb of me. Oops, that was worthless. No need to throw away my items, thanks. Just need to check whether I'm in Celeste or not. Skills? Celeste. Magic. Float. Up to the top. And I'm thinking Celeste probably needs to eat another tincture by now. not out of tinctures yet. Theoretically, I shouldn't run out, but you never know. Alright, anything else I wanted to do other than wish I knew which rose people were in? Because both Shadow and Sets have bit the dust there. Only Celeste was a survivor. Oh well, more vigor for her, I guess. But having my levels unbalanced against an Atma weapon won't, won't really help me. Point to the left. All 
way to the top. This is the least indication of where I am for the longest time, so... If something messes up here, it's definitely curtains. One, two, three. Down there. And down the staircase. I'll probably get a battle before I hit the next wall. I did not. That could be a good or bad thing. Alright. Alright, now I'm definitely starting to get worried. Up. Please give me a battle soon. I'm running all over the place, but no battle. I'm really think I'm thinking that I'm off course. I don't want to be off course now. I'm so close. Down. One, two, three, four. Man, I, I really can't have made it this far without a battle. There's no way. Right. I'm in the menu! Am I in, am I in the menu? No, I pressed the button. What could have... Now, now I'm... Now I'm confused. Was I in the menu or not? I can't have been in the menu or else I would have heard, been hearing noises. That's silly. That doesn't mean anything. I could be anywhere right about now. But... I mean, I've made it this far. I've got to at least try and pretend that I've done everything right so far. Huh. Celeste's shadow, probably shadow. Attack that thing. I heard claw noises on the left side. Hmm. So this is. That was probably a dactyl. Sketch what's on the left realm. Whoops. You should be on magic. I think we're on Mr. Sketch again. I think there's two Dactyls though, which means this is probably Dactyl Dactyl Ninja. I think I heard a claw noise on the left, which means this is probably a side attack. So sleep right down, and hopefully that's a ninja. What? This is Celeste. What? I swear I just had Setsu do his slots and then immediately cast poison. Did I just have Celeste cast here too? You are a shadow. I'm wasting time in the menus. There's a gargoyle in this fight, so it's definitely not double dactyl. Sketch what it's at the top. Okay, definitely sets her. That's what sets her sounds like. This is probably Celeste. in your item menu for some reason. What? You are muted. I figured it out this time. Attack mode, go. Quake. Oh no, I've been forgetting float. So hard to keep track of everything at once. Or have I been forgetting float? I'm forgetting if I've been forgetting float. This 
so many uncertainties. <laughs> Attack the thing at the top. If it's the dactyl I want- if the dactyl's still alive, I want it dead because it's got cyclonic. Thankfully I've got both uh, healing win and uh, slots in this battle. Is that Firestorm? I'm pretty sure I heard four noises there, which makes me feel happy inside. All warm and fuzzy and stuff, because all four of my characters should theoretically still be alive. Now if the enemies would stop being quite as alive, I'd be much appreciating it. That's it. Well, Setsu just tore them a new one. Goodbye, whoever that was. Yeah, I think I'm be I was being paranoid about the float thing. So many quakes have gone off. I wouldn't have survived that. That's my firestorm. I was attacking the dactyl. I don't think my attacks are all that effective, but it didn't use holy wind, so it might die this turn. The problem is, I've still got the whole worry of the fact that I don't really think I am where I think I am. Okay, did that kill them all? They didn't do any damage. I won't complain. I don't know where I am and that I will complain about. Right? Up, right. Up to there. One, two, three, four, and I took five steps up there. That's actually kind of encouraging. Okay. Um. Kind of. There's still no way I made it all the way from that battle on the ridge there to the. I probably just happened to be in a spot where I could take five steps up. Okay, this is realm. So, so want to look at the screen. <laughs> I. And this is probably shadow. Okay, so this is another gargoyle involved fight. So, is it double gargoyle dactyl or gargoyle double brain pan? That is the question. Attack your front. You want to be using slots either way. Alright, now put your sleep to use. Put the enemy at the top to sleep. I can figure it out for sure if I sketch the enemy at the top.
Okay, so it's another one of these fights. Thanks a lot, jerks. Firestorm, kind of helpful. for attack what's in front of you. Maybe I should put one of the healers to sleep. Cyclonic, I hope it hits. You're back up and wakey wakey, so let's have Shadow hit you in the face. Thankfully these guys use a lot of turns with Quake and that doesn't do anything really. Oh whoops, that was wrong. Also thankfully, Setzer's slots can do big damage if they hit with a, an attack, so this is actually a case where I definitely want him to use an attacking move, because it allows me to finish off the battle, to be honest. That's Holy Wind, but it's mined, so I'm not really worried about that. I should probably feed Celeste another Tincture. That guy woke up. I think the Dactyl's the one that's dead. I'll put Celeste in attacking mode next time her turn comes up. Oh, another one. Good work, Setzer. Just whole day from here on out. I've got nothing else I'm really looking forward to doing in this fight, so. Theoretically, if somehow I did walk all that way without a single encounter, I'm pretty much right next to the end. But theoretically, if that happened, it's a Christmas miracle, so. You know, I'm not going to bother giving Celeste a tincture. It's probably over before the next fight. Right. Down. Holy cow, did I actually make it? It is truly a Christmas miracle. Even though it's Christmas Eve and not Christmas itself, I think Santa Claus decided to stop by a day early. Oh man, I made it. How long was that? Hour and eight minutes. Shoot. And I'm... <laughs> okay, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>... Give me myself time to sort things out. Blocked hit. Okay. This might be another double ninja battle. 
If I don't hear a third enemy, that's going to be the assumption I'm rolling with. Alright, probably double ninjas. Now here's the thing, do I want to have Realm use her paintbrush or just defend? I'll probably vote defend. Let's show you again. This could end badly though. I'm in the wrong row especially because eating a lot of stuff thanks to that back attack. Tank it out, Setzer. It's my only hope. Ah, uh, someone died. Ah, uh, probably dead. Back attacks are bad news in the, in, with a fight like this one. I don't think I can come back, to be honest, but... Whose turn is it? It is probably Celeste's. I know Berserk is around here somewhere. I might have to rely on that. Yeah, no one else's turn came up, so that's probably Celeste alone. That's the end. All the way to the right. Up one. Right more. Almost about to reach the part that little thing of land. Okay, it's probably a preemptive strike, so this is almost certainly Realm. Yep, so... Yeah. So, Shadow hit stuff. It's a very, uh... What the... What happened there? Realm, I swear she did nothing. She just sketched and then nothing happened. Can't have been silence. You do that. Alright, I'm going to operate under the assumption that the thing at the back is a ninja. Aw, oh, rats at Kunai before it can be put to sleep. What just happened? Oh wait, Realm must have missed her sketch. Simple explanations. Okay. So I heard Discord, but it was on my side, and the only way that makes sense is if it's a back attack. Okay, and it must also be a ninja. Oh man, this could really end badly. These darn bag attacks. This must be Shadow. Tech the guy at the top. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting owned. There's no way I'm living this. Those ninjas can devastate my team in when I can't figure out what's going on.